Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqa'u qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, the early morning drill, okay, like a military. Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, Anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu, huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu, mashallah. Now the same thing we will apply to our verbs in the sequence. Doing all the things in sequence, inshallah, will make it easy for us. This is the foundation and you will see later on how helpful it is to us, you know. Kataba. Do you remember the conjugation? Yes. Uh, Inshallah. Ready? Kataba. Kataba. Katabu. Katabat. Katabata. Katabna. Katabta. Katabtuma, katabtum, katabti, katabtuma, katabtunna, katabtu, katabna. Ready? Are you ready? Huwa, kataba. Hiya, katabat. Hum, katabu. Hunna, 
Katabina. See, all these things I want that if we practice every day, within a week or two weeks, it will come to you very fast and automatically. Okay, brothers and sisters. Ana Kataptu. Anta Katapta. Antum Kataptum. Anti Katapti. Nahnu Katabna. Inshallah. We'll practice. Huh? Okay. Ready? Next one. Kharaja. Okay. Kharaja. Kharaja. Kharaju. Kharajat. Kharajata. Kharajna. Kharashta. Kharashtuma. Kharashtum. Kharashti. Kharashtuma. Kharashtunna. Kharashtu. Kharajna. Nahnu. Kharajna. Ana. Kharashtu. Anta. Kharashta. Anti. Kharashti. Antum. Kharashtum. Huwa. Kharaja. Hiya. Kharajat. Hum. Kharaju. Hunna. Kharajna. See right now you have to think. But inshallah it will come very fast to you. We will get used to it. Right? Inshallah. But don't you find a little more comfortable now than last week? Yes. You will get better and better, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Zahaba. These are the verbs which will come in the... Uh, these, were, these will come. Huh? And then I'll write, let me write down. Jalasa and Raja. Huh? These are the verbs will come in that lesson. And remember one thing, whenever there is a fiel, there is a file. Huh? If I say kharashtu, tu is the file. And file is always marfu. So tu is marfu, not because of dhamma, but it is marfu. For example, if I say kharashta, where is the file? Ta. No, ta has a fata, but it is marfu. Because all, all the files are Marfu, always marfu. You will remember this rule. All the files are marfu. Now when the file is with the verb, those are pronouns. What are they? Pronouns. That is why we practice hua huma hum. These are pronouns. So when you say kharashtu, the file is ana. When you say kharajana, the file is nahnu. In the form of na. When I say kharashta, the file is anta. In the form of ta. Are you with me? So ta is a damir which equals to anta. Sahi? And they are all marfu. Huh? They are all. I will be repeating to inshallah. You will be comfortable. Ready, brother? Zahaba. 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 Zahabu. Zahabat. Zahabata. Zahabna. Zahabta. Zahabtuma. Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. Hiya, Zahabat. Huwa, Zahaba. Hum, Zahabu. Hunna, Zahabna. Anta, Zahabta. Anti, Zahabti. Nahnu, Zahabna. Nahnu, Zahabna. Ana, I have to. I'm going to give you from in between. No sequence. Huh? Inshallah, you'll get stronger. Next one, brother. Jalasa, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastun, Jalastu, Jalasna. Huh? Are you with me? Antum jalastum, anti jalasti, hum jalasu, huwa jalasa, hiya jalasat, ana jalastu, nahnu jalasna. Mashallah. Next one, brother. Raja'a. Ready? Raja'a, raja'a, raja'u, raja'at, raja'ata. Rajana, Rajata, Rajatuma, Rajatum, Rajati, 
Raja Tuma, Raja Tunna, Raja Tu, Raja Na. Mashal. What is the meaning of Raja? He returned. What is the meaning of Jalasa? He sat. What is the meaning of Zahaba? He went. Kharaja, he went out. You know, left or exited. And Kataba, he wrote. Akala, he ate. Shariba, he drank. Huh? Okay? These are the, you know, you'll always remember the root verb in the root form. It is he did something. He is always there. Huh? In Arabic language, the root goes to he did something in the past tense. Okay? Ready? Now, you know, I always joke with uh, students, you know, that when you start Jailasa, it means you are sitting in your car in the garage. The door opens, you drive your car out and then into the street. So we are very careful about children. But the highway 407 is very close to you. Okay, so you start with Jalasa, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata. As soon as you come to Hunna, you are on the ramp of 407. Are you with me? Because everything is same after that. Huh? Everything is same. Huh? Jalas, Jalas, Jalas. And you see, when you are on, on the 407, when you are there, there are no cops. So there are no speed limits. You can drive very fast. Okay? So you come to Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna. Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastuna, Jalastu, Jalasna. You can go very fast. Okay, you know why? The files are, what are the files? Ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tuna. What is it, brother? Ta. Tuma, tum, ti, tuma, tum, tu, na. So you can, you know, everything remains same. Jalasta, jalastuma, jalastum, jalasti, jalastuma, jalastumna, jalastu, jalasna. Huh? So it's easy, you know. And I had brother students who would say so fast in the class. Sister say, hey, hold on. We don't know where you are going. <laughs> We want to understand, you know. Inshallah, you'll become very strong and very fast, okay. Now, brothers and sisters, we did mudah mudafilehi. Are you with me? And then we did, I will just write down quickly, huwa huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, brother. And then I'll write down anta, antuma, Antum and Anti Antuma Antunna huh? and then Ana and Nahnu. Now see these dam Damair, Damir singular, Damair plural, these Damair brothers and sisters, they are called Detached pronoun. What are they called? Detached, Detached pronoun. Damirun munfasilun. But if you do not remember munfasilun, just remember detached. And they are always marfu. marfu. Huh? Now, you know, every noun has three cases. Marfu, mansub, and majrur. So what is the... F this is marfu. So what is mansub and majrur? They undergo change but then remain that that way all the time so what is who becomes who huh? are you with me i'm repeating this and huma remains huma don't ask me why i didn't do it okay that's the way the language is home remains home and then here goes to ha ah, mashallah huh? alhamdulillah you remember huma remains huma and then hunna remains hunna and then anta becomes ka. ka. Huh? Anta becomes. So whether anta is damir, ka is damir, what is the difference? Padasan, 
What is the difference? This is detached pronoun and it is marfu. And these are attached pronouns and they can be majroor or mansub. Same, but they are attached. They never come on their own. Huh? They will always be attached. Are you with me? So here are uh, detached, huh, brothers and sisters. These are detached. I'll just put them in a circle. Huh? Huh? These are detached and they are always marfu. You have to remember this. Marfu, mansu, majrur. Dhun, dan, din, we will always think. Huh? Always, always. Okay. And then, brothers and sisters, these are attached pronoun. Ka, and then, kuma, and then, kum, and then, ki, kuma, kunna. And then, what is then, brother? Ya mutakallim. You call it? Ya mutakallim. The ya of the person who speaks. It represents the person who speaks. And then nahnu becomes? Na. If you are strong enough in this, I will inshallah quote an ayat at the end of the day. Huh? Are you with me? One more time. Detached pronouns huh? are all marfu. And then those pronouns have a form when they are majroor and mansur. And then at the same time they become attached pronoun. Are you with me? Is it simple? Is it clear inshallah? Huh? Attached. So if I say to you, Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me brother? What is it? Mudaf, book of Muhammad. What, are, what is this, brother? Mudaf, Mudafili. How do I say his book? Kitabu who? See, who joined? Who is joined because it is attached. So, Muhammadin is Majroor. So, who is now? Majroor. Huh? Who is now? Majroor, Sahih. Huh? Are you with me? Kitabu who? So what is who now? Mudafilehi. And Mudafilehi is majroor. Why there is a dhamma there? Because it is mabni. It is fixed. Okay? Kitabu who? That's why I say to you, When the pronoun joins a noun, it becomes mudaf. Mudafilehi. Remember this, brother. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, huh? we get mudaf and mudafilehi all the time. So now let us try and uh, do the 14. We will practice and we will get stronger and strong. Ready? Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma. All joined. Huh? Kitabuhum, Kitabuha. Kitabu Huma, Kitabu Hunna, Kitabu Ka, Kitabu Kuma, Kitabu Kum, Kitabu Ki, Kitabu Kuma, Kitabu Kunna, and then Kitabi, and then Kitabu Na, Kitabu Na. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now we say you can use them with anything now. Take any noun and Put pronoun and make into mudaf, mudafile. Okay, baitu. Baituhu, his house. House of his. Baituhuma. Always say, huh, brother, participate in the class. It's good for you. Your tongue will get used to the pronunciation. Don't, don't sit, you know, quiet. Participate. Kitabuhu, kitabuhuma, kitabuhum. Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhunna, Kitabuka, Kitabukuma, Kitabukum, Kitabuki, Kitabukuma, Kitabukunna, Kitabi, 
Kitabu na. So it's easy. Very soon you will become very fluent, inshallah. Now one more, inshallah. Kalam. Ready? Kalamuhu, kalamuhuma, kalamuhum, kalamuha, kalamuhuma, kalamuhunna, kalamuka, kalamukuma, kalamukum, kalamuki, kalamukuma, kalamukunna, kalami, kalamuna. Mashallah. Kalami, kalamuna. Very good. Okay. Now, I want to go a little deeper, but I will leave it now. Because I want to do now, I want to do prepositions. Huh? What happens when the pronoun joins a preposition? The result is? Jar majroor. Huh? So if I have min, huh, brother? and then I put who, what becomes? Minhu. Huh? It becomes Minhu. It becomes Minhu. Ready? Uh, minhu. Minhuma. Minhum. Minha. Minhuma. Minhunna. Minka. Minkuma. Minkum. Minki. Minkuma. Min kunna, min ni, min na. Mashallah. You got the idea, brother? Huh? Let's do rab. Rabbuhu, rabbuhuma, rabbuhum, rabbuha, rabbuhuma, rabbuhunna, rabbuka, rabbukuma, rabbukum, rabbuki, rabbukuma. Rabbu kunna, Rabbi Rabbuna. See, you, you read all this in the Quran, but you never realize that they are. No. Mudah, mudah. I tricked you. Huh? I was doing Jar Majroon and then I brought Rabbu. Rabbu is a noun. You see, I have experienced with uh, my, you know, teaching in the last six years, that if I do all these things before, and when the lesson comes, it's easier to understand. If we were to do lesson first, then all these things will come, you may say, what is going on here? But now when we will read the lesson, you will have no difficulty, inshallah. So you will have no difficulty. Huh? So, Rabbuhu, remember, it is in the Quran all the time, you know. Now, Minhu we did, brother, and then I told you, you know that sometimes if there is a kasra before the pronoun, are you with me? Or if there is a ya with a sukun before the pronoun, then they change five of them. Which are those five? Hua, huma, hum, and then huma and hunna. These change for phonetic reasons. You know, they sound sweeter if you give them a kasra. There is no grammar rule. Huh? For example, brothers and sisters, here is a harf jar. What is this? Ila. Now, right now, there are no two doubt, dots. Actually, it is hamza, lam, and ya. Right now, we say ila. It's pronounced as alif. But as soon as you attached who to it, then it, it opens up. The ya becomes visible. So it becomes ilay. Now, if I say ilay who, see, look at the way you make your mouth, you know, muscles in your mouth. Ilay who, it takes extra effort. And even also, it doesn't sound nice to the ear. So, who became? Now pronounce Ilaihi. You can pronounce with ease, you know. See, that's the, how beautiful the language is. How logical things are in Arabic language. Huh? Ilaihi. Okay? Are you with me? Same thing will be Allah, another preposition. When you put who into it, it will open up and it will become Alai. 
Now what will happen? Alayhi. So if you start with il ila, what will happen now? Ilayhi, ilayhima, ilayhim, ilayha, ilayhima, ilayhinna. Only in five. Okay, brother? Do it again. Ilayhi, ilayhima, ilayhim, ilayha. No change. Ilayhima, ilayhinna. Okay, this will change into he, 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 and he. Huh? I'm circling the Dhamma, it is out. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Try to do it now, brother. Ela, Elaihi, Elaihima, Elaihim, Elaiha, Elaihima, Elaihinna. Is there any grammar change? No. There is no change because of the grammar. No. They are still Mabni. We change it because it's easier to pronounce. And then Elaika, Elaikuma, Elaikum, Elaiki, Elaikuma, Elaikunna, and then Ilai ya, huh? and I'll again explain why it became ilai ya, huh? and then ilai na, huh? okay. Allah, let's do it Allah. Alai he, alai hima, alai him, alai ha, alai. No, we are doing alai. Alai hima, alai hinna, and then alai ka, alai kuma, alai kum. Alayki, alaykuma, alaykunna, alayya, and alayna. Brothers and sisters, what did we do? We did jarun wa majru. You'll remember that, huh? Jarun wa majru. Okay, fine, brother. Okay, now let's do B. Harf jar B, which means with. We use it bismillah, so that is harf jar. Huh? B, okay. So what will happen, brother? Here is a B plus who? Because there is a kasara now. Huh? So it will become B he. Huh? It, it became B he. No, brother. Jarun wa majru. Don't worry. Beginning we will get mixed up. It is Jarun wa majru. Okay, brother and sister. Be he. So ready? Be he. Be hima. Be him. Be ha. Normal. Be hima. Be hinna. And then be ka. Be kuma. Be kum. Be ki. Be kuma. Be kunna. Be. And then bina. Tere bina kya jiyenge. Okay, brother. Okay. So, brother, remember here. I always say, it sounds like one word, B, but actually there are two words in it. One is Ya Mutakalam and one is Harfchar. So if you divide it, brothers and sisters, so B is with and me, with me. Huh? So we will always remember this, huh, brother. Always remember this. Okay? Fine. Now we come to fee. Huh? No, fi, how do we write fi, brothers and sisters? What is on ya? No, this is not ya mutakalama, this is arfja. What is, what is, see, there's a kasra on fa. So what is on ya, brothers and sisters? Sukun. So if there's a sukun and you bring who, it will become? Fihi, you know why it is fihi. You, you read it in the Quran all the time. Fihi and fiha, but why fihi and not fihu? No, try, you, when you go home today, go home and stay in front of the mirror and say fihu and then say fihi. 
See, look at your face. Huh? It's easier to say fi he instead of fi who. Huh? Okay? So it became fi he. Fi he. Huh, brother? Ready? Fi he. Fi hima. Fi him. Fi ha. Fi hima. Fi hinna. Fi ka. Fi kuma. Fi kum. Fi ki. Fi kuma. Fi kunna. Fi ya. Fi ya. Fi ya. Two yas. Fiya and then Fina. She huh? so always you hear this. Barakalau Fika. Barakalau Fi Ki. Barakalau Fi Kum. What is this Fi Kum, Fika, Fi Ki? These are our Jar Majur. Jar Majur. Okay, now let us uh, come to the base rule, brothers and sisters. I'm writing here. Ilai. Huh? Because I want to attach it. A pronoun to it. So I attach ya mutakallam. There are two ya, sukun. We cannot pronounce them. Huh? So then, <clears throat> there is a rule in Arabic that if before ya mutakallam, another ya comes, or even an alif comes, then this will change into fatah. No, we will not talk about Alif because it comes in book 3. It comes in book 3. So when it comes, inshallah, we'll study. But now, brothers and sisters, there's a Ya with a Sukun and Ya with a Fatha. What should we do now? Shatta. So it will become? It will become? See, do you see I'm putting Hamzatul Kata all the time? You got to. You got to get rid of your habit of putting only Kasra. If it is Hamdatul Kata, make it Hamdatul Kata. Because otherwise, this habit will bother you. When you go for higher studies or if you will go to university to take a proper courses, this will become a handicap for you. So I will put now, Ilai Ya. What is the meaning of Ilai Ya? To me. Huh? To me. Huh? Okay. Same way, Brothers and sisters, I'm running out of space. Fi with a sukun. Uh, and then ya mutakalim with a sukun. Two yas. So what happens? I put a, first I put a fata. Uh, first I put a fata. And then I join them together. And then it becomes fi ya. Are you with me? You will remember this inshallah. Uh, it comes in the Quran. Alayya, Ilayya comes in the Quran. And we will be studying these verses. Huh? Okay. Now, brother and sister, we take zarf. Zarf is easy. There are no problems in zarf. Okay. Enda. Okay. Enda has the meaning of with or at. Huh? So put who in with that? Huh? Enda who? No changes. Enda huma. In the whom? In the ha? In the huma? In the hunna? In the ka? In the kuma? In the kum? In the ki? In the kuma? In the kunna? And then? In the? And then? In the na? Okay. Now another zarf, knife zarf, brother. It will come in the lesson. And that is? <coughs> Ma'a. What is it, brother? Ma'a. Ma'ahu. Ma'ahuma. Ma'ahum. Ma'aha. Ma'ahuma. Ma'ahunna. Ma'aka. Ma'akuma. Ma'akum. Ma'aki. Ma'akuma. Ma'akunna. Ma'i. Ma'ana. So if you write down ma'i, brothers and sisters, how many words are there? How many? 
two, two. Uh, you know, this is one word. The kasra came because ya pulls it down. Uh, so this is dar, and what is the next one? Ya mutakalam, pronoun. So mudafilihi. When you say indahu, what is the combination? Zar and mudafilihi. When you say indahum, zar and mudafilihi. Are you with me? Is it clear, brother? Inshallah. Now, having said this, I, we will practice a little bit more, brother. Arfjar, li, for, or belongs to. Hazal kalamu lil mudarris. This pen belongs to the mudarris. Hazal kalamu, brothers and sisters. Hazal kalamu, and then lil mudarrisi. Lil mudarrisi. Okay. What is haza? Mubtada. What is al kalamu? Badal. Got the idea? Badal. And what is lil mudarris? Jar majrur, shibu jumla, khabar. Sahi? Now it is li is harfchar. Hazal kitabu li muhammadin. This book belongs to. Muhammad. So it will become Li Muhammad then. Remember it is Li. Now let us join Li uh, with who? What did you say? Why did you say Lahu? Because that's the way it is. You know? It Li will change into La. When will when will it change to La? When you have pronouns coming to it. Are you with me, brother? It's very easy. I was fascinated by these things. You know, because they are so beautiful. When you understand, you can straight go to the Quran and figure it out. Huh? Okay, brother. Li plus who became? Lahu. Huh, sister? Uh, Salma. So, what happened here? That this kasra went into fata. Okay? But it's it is still jar and majroor. It is still jar wa majroor. Where is jar? Li. Where is isam majroor? Who? Huh? Attached pronoun. Are you with me? So, brother starts. Lahu, lahuma, lahum, laha, lahuma, lahunna. And then, Laka, lakuma, lakum, laki, lakuma, lakunna, li. All the time comes in the Quran, li. And then, lana. Only time, ya mutakalim brought it down. Ya mutakalim is very stubborn, brother. Always me, me, me. It brought it down. But when it comes to Nahnu, it becomes Lana. Let us do it again. Is everybody comfortable? Or shall I write it? Shall I write it? Okay, I will write it. Because I want you to be, you know, absolutely uh, uh, clear. No, brother, everything is in your handout. All these things are in your handout. And I can show you a page number. 11. 11, they are all there. Okay, open the page number 11. Huh? Brother, you will keep handout handy on your table and you will keep your textbook and that key book. Huh? All these things always should be in front of you so that we can switch uh, very quickly. So I'm not writing because it is there. Okay. But because we are doing video, I will also write it, inshallah. Okay, brother. Lahu. And then lahuma, and then lahum, and then laha, and then lahuma, and then la lahunna, lahunna. Okay, and then laka, and then lakuma. 
Lakum. Then I'll write down here. Lucky. Lucky. Huh? Lucky. And then Lakuma. And then Lakunna. Then I'm going to write down with red so that it stands out. Lee. And then, brother? Lana. Huh? Lana. Now tell me one thing. When you come across Lee, huh? sounds so very simple. Lee. Huh? Huh? Most of the Chinese names have Lee there. Huh? Okay. They are not Jar Majulu. Huh? <laughs> okay. Lee, how many words? Two. You have to remember that. Huh? You have to remember. See, we go deep. How many words, Sister Fatima? Two. Tell me what are they? One is half jar. Huh? Half jar. And the next one is? Ya mutakallim. What will you say? Ya yeah, Get used to ya mutakallim. Huh? What is ya mutakallim? Pronoun. What is ya mutakallim? Pronoun. Are you with me? Brothers and sisters? Is it clear? Fatima? Inshallah? Hmm? Sister Faiza? Inshallah? Sister Maimuna? Is it clear? Inshallah. Where is Aisha? Oh. I hope you are showing her. Inshallah. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is... Uh, uh, you, you can lo look into your uh, uh, handout, page 11. Now I go to something else. Brothers and sisters. I have to now take you somewhere else. Muhammadin huh? Kita Bu Muhammadin and then I put Fi here what will happen now? Fi Kitabi Muhammadin Fi Kitabi Muhammadin what is Fi? Harfcha what is kitabi? Ism majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilay. Fine, brother. Now I'm doing something else. Kitabu hu. Now I say fi. Or you can put any preposition. Huh? Any proposition will do the same thing that fi will do. What is fi, brother, here doing? Fi, kitabi, he. See, change. So fi made the kitab, majroor, kitabi, and who is still a damir? It is mudafilehi. But for the sake of pronouncing nicely, we change into kitabihi. No change because of grammar. It is just phonetics, brother. How will you analyze, brother? Fi. Harja. Kitabi. Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And who? And he? Mudafile. You got the idea? Sister Fatima? Again I say, what is fi? Harja. What is kitabi? Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And where is mudafilei? He. He. Because it is a pronoun. Sahi? It is a pronoun. Okay. Very good. Now, I say to you, what is this, brother? In the who? What is in the zarf? What is who? Mudafili. And Inda is Zarf. And what is who? Mudafili. Now watch what I am doing. Min. From. What will happen? Min. Indi. See? 
your mind will inshallah become used to it min indihi it's in the quran min indihi huh? min and then it will become in the and then will change into huh? uh, okay but if i say in the ha and put min let me write it down let me write it down in the ha in the ha now i put min here in the ha it will, ha doesn't change remember min in the ha huh? because the changes were only huh? in five not in ha huh? and these are these are dhamir ghaib huh? these are third person pronouns the changes come in third person pronouns but only in five it doesn't affect ha we can pronounce ha with with a kasra before it or dhamma before it or fata before it there is no problem so you will say min andi ha are you with me brothers and sisters no what is this tahtahu huh? what is tahta under him huh? what is tahta under him what is the grammatical value of this tahta zar and who is mudafili huh? mudafili fine huh? now i put min what will happen brother Min tahti he, ah, min tahti he. Got the idea? Are you with me? Min tahti he. Now I write down tahta ha. Now I put min again. What will happen now? Min tahti, min tahti ha. Jannatin tajri min tahtiha anhar. See, all the time you know, but we never thought what's happening. See, jara yajri, this is verb we'll study in book two. Huh? Huh? Tajri min tahtiha al anhar. Huh? Are you with me? So, min made tahta into tahti, because this is a noun, zarf or noun. Are you with me, brother? Is it clear? So now, if I say to you, now I think I explained you. This is what I meant to explain you. Huh? Inshallah, it will become very clear. Are you are you comfortable now, brothers and sisters? We had a good revision, huh? okay? And now we go to the main lesson.